Hi guys, Tick James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to find out if your R4 card has a time bomb. So you're probably wondering, what is a time bomb? So basically, a time bomb is just a piece of software installed onto your R4 card that activates when your 3DS's clock gets to a certain date. So you're probably wondering why the time bomb exists anyway. And it's basically a scam, guys. It's a scam made by these sort of Chinese companies that make these cheap R4 cards because they think when you see a time bomb on your R4 card and you can't play games anymore, you're likely to go and buy a new one. So in this video, I'll just be showing you guys how to find one and then what to do if you do have one. So I'm going to be testing two R4 cards here. I've got the R4i TT, which is probably a fake card, and then I've also got a card with a really good reputation, but I'm going to be testing it anyway, and that card is the R4i Gold Plus. So anyway guys, let's get into this video. Right guys, so first of all, I'm just going to test this one right here, the R4i TT for 3DS. Alright guys, so on your 3DS, what you want to do before you run the R4 card, you just want to go into your system settings. Then you want to go into other settings, date and time. And this is where you need to change the date. So apparently the R4 time bomb activates um, a year to a couple of years after you buy your R4. So I'm just going on um, today's date right here. And you want to put a year to something crazy, so um, obviously it would be on 2018. I'm just going to put it to about four years in the future, you know, quite a few years in the future. Let's just put it to 2025, because if the R4 does have a time bomb, then it will definitely um, activate by then. So we're just going to click OK, um, click OK. Of course, you can change the date back afterwards so you've um, tested it. So let's just go back and X out to the main menu. So my R4i TT is connected and I'm pretty sure that's a fake card anyway. So there's quite a high possibility that this could have a time bomb installed. So let's just go ahead and open it. Now to get the time bomb activated, basically what you need to do is run a game. So you can pretty much just run any game you want. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and just run Mario Kart DS. So just go ahead and launch it. So there you go guys, this R4 is clean, this R4 does not have a time bomb and you will always be able to play games on it. Now it's time to test the R4i Plus. Right guys, so now we are on to the i4i Plus Gold, so let's go ahead and launch that up. Okay, so on the main menu, select SC card, and we have got Super Mario 64 DS. So let's boot into this, and hopefully we don't encounter a time bomb. So you go guys, once you get to the game boot screen, you know you are safe from the time bomb. So both of these cards um, didn't have it, which I'm kind of lucky, because quite a few cards are actually known to have it. Alright guys, so if any of you do encounter the time bomb issue, there are several fixes. The first fix is keeping the 3DS's date and time um, to a state where it doesn't encounter the time bomb. That is a kind of annoying fix, but it is possible. And the second fix is by changing your R4's kernel to a completely different version. So I'm kind of interested to see if any of you guys do actually have a time bomb on your R4 card. If you do, please let me know what card it is in the comments, and I will probably think about making a video on how to fix it by swapping out the kernel. So that's pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.